early on with the mRNA vaccines, we got these very rapid antibody rises that were substantial and obviously very protective. Right out of the chute, 90 95% protection against infection. Well, we didn't understand with this antibody response that the mRNA vaccines gave us that it waned over time and it wasn't a long time, it was months. And that's where, in fact, the whole third dose booster, now fourth dose booster came along. Well, in the meantime, the adenovirus vaccine vector, the J&J vaccine, uh, was initially met with, uh, okay, one dose, but you only get 60, 65% protection. The mRNAs are much better. Well, this vaccine, however, is able to actually impact much more T-cell immunity which is long-term durable immunity. And now if you look out six to 10 to 12 months out from the original mRNA series and the original J&J series, the J&J vaccine has higher efficacy than the mRNA vaccines does. 